Today, the uses of social media go beyond status updates and photo sharing. Platforms such as Facebook and Twitter create an outlet for users to share intimate feelings and life-altering events with friends and even strangers. These platforms create an opportunity for discussion between mourners that had a common connection with the deceased. We are observing acceptable and non-acceptable deaths, including strong versus weak ties in relation to Facebook posts and comments. Social media, like Facebook, is changing the way we connect with, the, with others in our lives. It is affecting the connections that are made, how often we make connections, and the depth of these connections. Death has always been a sensitive subject. As humans, we take the death of a loved one seriously and treat it intimately. It has always been thought of as a private matter. However, in today's society, social media has changed the way people handle death in such a media-driven society that is constantly in need of knowing everything. So, our method was the experiment, and um, we tested how social media users reacted to acceptable and not acceptable deaths um, and observed their strong and weak ties. Um, so just a reminder, acceptable deaths are obviously cancer, murder, car accidents, um, those that aren't shunned by society, and not acceptable would be suicide, AIDS, drug overdose, or those that are frowned upon. Um, strong tie would be a close relationship to a person or a friend or family member. Weak tie would be more of an acquaintance, and then we also observed more specifically, two-way communication, which is how a mourner may discuss and share about the death on social media in a collective or community group. Um, our research questions were, what are emotions to post in regard to acceptable and non-acceptable deaths and strong versus weak ties? And what are emotions to comment in regard to acceptable and non-acceptable deaths and strong versus weak ties? And our hypothesis was, that acceptable deaths with strong ties would have the most positive um, attitude and emotion besides not acceptable and weak, uh, weak ties and strong ties. Okay, why, this, why we chose to research this topic is social media mourning does not have enough actual content on the information, so we decided to help them out. Uh, platforms create the opportunity for a different and widespread communication. It's changing the way people communicate instead of just actually face-to-face um, -face communication, the lack of studies, they're not there, and then this is going to help future studies study communication and more so social media communication. We pulled some outside sources from to help along with our studies from previous studies. Um, we have Laura Levitt of Elon University, she explains the use of Facebook during and after a tragedy. And then we also pulled sources from Elise Marwick. She has a P PhD from New York University, and Nicole Ellison, who also has a PhD from Southern University of Southern California. Uh, these they combined to discuss the topics for public grieving. Our concepts that we focused on for our um, experiment were broad concepts. Was our two-way communication which is defined as a dialogue that takes place between those who grieve the deceased. And two-way communication is made up of three constructs that we focus on. We have community sharing, relationship formation, collective grieving. Community sharing is defined as an action taken by the mourner to communicate and connect with someone else who is also mourning online. This can involve sharing photos or stories or reliving the past through social media. Relationship formation is simply the uh, relationships formed through mutual bonding over grieving process. It's a bridge to learn about people that have also lost people. And then we have collective grieving, which is an action taken by the mourner to connect and share with other mourners. And it breaks down the barrier for other individuals. So for our expectations for the experiment, we looked especially at strong and weak ties. And for the strong ties and acceptable deaths, we realized that those were the ones that were mourned most on social media. And then we looked at people who had emotional support, uh, people who were looking for emotional support because they were, it was like harder to expect that. And then for the weak tie death and the, for the weak tie and acceptable death, we looked at uh, people who were looking at more awareness for that. Um, for social capital, we established what social capital was, and it was the bond shared by humans, and it was just, we used to describe uh, strong and weak ties, and so, 
for strong ties we did close friends, family members, and then weak ties we did mutual friends um, and acquaintances, so people who weren't directly in communication with them. Um, so for the method, we did we like broke down in our final paper and then throughout the semester in our um, in our experiment we looked at the, the design participants, setting and appearance, variables, procedure, and results. So for the design, we used the um, yeah. <laughs> We recreated Facebook content, we used the MEL lab, and we found 150 participants to participate in the survey. Um, specifically, specifically, the uh, Facebook content was helpful whenever we did our surveys because that was where we could actually like establish our code book and work on stuff like that. Uh, participants, they were required, and they had to have more on social media, and they must be 18 years or older. And we found these participants through convenient non-probability sampling. So most of these participants were either um, friends of ours that we had reached out to, saying like, "Hey, we need um, we need you to help with this," or they were receiving class credit. Okay, setting and appearance. We had we held the experiment in the LSU Media Effects Lab. Off um, <laughs> the address. <laughs> the uh, mail lab. Um, it was a collection that took experiment that took place in October. The data was collected through the Qualtrics software. We gave them a survey um, in format. Our variables were independent. Variable was that all the participants had the same survey questions. The dependent variables relied on the different stimuli in the survey the difference in attitudes that they portrayed, and the different emotional ties in the examples on the survey. Our procedure, we had to choose people for participation. They were randomly selected through Mel Lab. They were then taken to the Mel Lab. They had to physically be present at the Mel Lab to center. They seated at the computer. They were made aware of the consent forms. The experiment survey took 30 to 45 minutes. The questions on the Qualtrics was IRB approved. They knew that they had privacy in their participation, it was guaranteed, and they, after the process was done, they were given group resources. The measures of the results, we used mean, median, and mode, and standard deviation. Mean is the average, median, middle, mode is the response most, made most frequently, and then the standard deviation was outlined data. For the results, we expected acceptable deaths to be more and more frequently for a longer duration of the time and more positively than not acceptable deaths. Our expectations and hypotheses were correct. In our experiment, we found that acceptable deaths with strong ties were to be the most liked, while non acceptable deaths with weak ties were the least liked at the post. These are our charts showing off our data. Um, the acceptable ties, this is for post. Um, survey. The acceptable deaf ties, strong ties, was like the most, and then the non acceptable deaf ties was like the least. This is our standard deviation. So we have non acceptable deaf, strong tie, non acceptable deaf, weak tie, and acceptable deaf, weak tie all have a significant difference. This is our data for our comment section. The acceptable strong ties was still the most liked, and acceptable weak ties is still the least liked. Our standard deviation was not acceptable weak ties with acceptable death and weak ties. Limitations of the study was artificiality. This is not a natural environment, so people don't act natural. Um, there's possible researcher bias, scientist influence, or limited scope. We don't have a wide enough demographic to serve. We focus in on LSU students. And then Thank you for your attention. We <laughs> our research we used to further the study on how social media is changing human interactions, specifically with death. The end.